Hello everybody, this is String of the Year for the concluding round of the Spooky Showdown. So by the end of this video, we will know our final four dinosaurs going into the finale. We're not going to mess about, we're going to get on with this round. And let's see who gets our top four. But at first, we have got Gastonia v Sejuangosaurus. You know, the pointless match. All right, we did it. In the red corner, one last gaseous outing. It's Gastonia. Now, Gastonia did get a win against Eel Carcaria. Can it finish with two straight wins? You know, finish on a bit of a high. It's not been his tournament, really, let's be honest. But it has got some notable wins, as has in the blue corner. One for one final outing, our purple pesky Petunius Pretty Predator, Sejuanosaurus. What's interesting is both of these have got notable victories in this tournament, Sejuanosaurus defeating Eocarcaria and Irritator, Gastonia beating the T-Rex and Eocarcaria. But they just haven't had enough victories and that is why this, that's why they're not going to get top four. Badoosh. Ooh, hello, we got a sand trap. Gastonia getting off to a good start there. Again, the, the tie combo just hasn't worked. Oh, it's been a lag there. Don't know what happened. Ooh, Gastonia getting the next hit on the board. An Earth Barrier as well. This is a strong start from our gaseous friend. And well, quick as a wink, Gastonia dispatches the Sejuangosaurus and finishes their tournament with a win. And an impressive one as well. And Sejuangosaurus yet again licking its wounds. Right, on to our next matchup, shall we? Alrighty then. In the red corner, the life sapping machine that shows no mercy. It's Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus currently in the top four as things stand. Victory here. And well, it, it won't be mathematically assured, but they'll pretty much be there. They'll be like 90% there. In the blue corner, the Dawn Shark from Africa. He's Eokarkiri. And Eokarkiria currently rooted to the bottom and just looking for something to go out with. Go in, looking to go out with a bang. If the Lanzosaurus does lose here, it will open the door for Eoraptor and Black T-Rex in the later matches. It's tight. Ooh, the Eora Carcaria gets the first hit. And it's a burning dash. I think this is the first burning dash we've seen all tournament. Eora, Eora Carcaria just not got going at all. Really struggled, but this is much more like it. Look at this, a flare sword. This could be disaster for Lanzusaurus. Look at that. Eora Carcaria definitely finishing with a bag. Look at this! And the manner of the defeat as well means that Lanzusaurus will get a paltry 120 points. That could change everything. Right, we are going to do things slightly different because it is the final round. We are going to have a look at the table before going into our third match to see where everyone is. Well, that is our table as it stands. So yeah, Eocarcaria does move off the bottom there with that fine victory against the Lanzusaurus. So well played to Eocarcaria. And that does mean poor old Sejuangosaurus will finish rooted to the bottom. But we don't care about that. We care about the top. And Lanzusaurus, despite that defeat, is in fourth. But that does open the door for Black T-Rex and Eoraptor. And in fact, even if the Black T-Rex gets defeated, they could get enough battle points now to overhaul the Lanzusaurus. But up next, we do have Diceratops taking on Irritator. Okie dokie, in the red corner. With an orange fiery temperament, despite being a lightning dinosaur, it's Diceratops. Well, Diceratops' top four hopes were ended by the Lanzusaurus in the previous round, but they can still have a big say on who finishes in that top four. In the blue corner, this dino makes you mad. 
He makes you irritate, dude. He's irritator. Irritator enjoying a really good tournament and a victory here will guarantee their top four finish. And we'll put them top for the time being. But of all the matchups in this tournament, this is the one matchup that Irritator probably fears the most. And despite this fine tournament, I do feel Diceratops is the favourite here. It's a lightning dinosaur when you need the points is the worst case scenario for Irritator here. Especially with a start like that. Oh, look at that. That's not even a crit. And the crit block as well means that Diceratops will be going for scissors. So Diceratops could get a plasma anchor here. Okay, they don't. But Irritator in a bit of a pickle here. Oh, it's a crit. This is a dominant start for the Diceratops. We said it, didn't we? Irritate, they would be in trouble here. Oh, and they go down. The Irritate, they didn't even get a hit. And that, how costly of a defeat could that be? Very few battle points as well. In fact, despite that defeat, Irritator will secure top four by virtue of the fact that the Lanzusaurus was defeated. Because even if Black T-Rex, well, no matter which one of them wins, one of them will be below the Irritator. Just shows how crucial that draw was. And of course, even if they draw and go above the Irritator, Irritator will still finish fourth. Now, on to our fourth match between Eoraptor and Sorofagon. In, In the, the red, red corner, corner, our purple little shapeshifter, mister, it's Eoraptor. Well, Eoraptor is pretty much simple as that. It has to win. And not just win, it has to win big. It'll need at least 700 battle points to overhaul Lanzusaurus, who currently sits in fourth. But even then, it'll have to hope that the T-Rex gets a big win over Black T-Rex. So it is a slim chance, but it's a chance. In the blue corner, though, we have the leader. We have the apex of the Jurassic. It's Soro Faganix. Wow. Worst opponent you can face when you need a big win. You're facing the guy who's currently sitting top. And a win for the Sorofagnax will guarantee that top spot. Despite the low battle points, they managed to win. And that's been the difference. Well, here we go. It's all on this. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good start. The elemental power activates as well. And that might be it already. Oh my jeez. That might... Oh yeah, that's definitely it. That could be all over already. Okay, it's a hit. But again, I don't think they're going to get enough battle points now. An unluck, a valiant effort from the Eeyore actor. You have to say, given their poor start. If they only they started better, they could have had a better chance. But yeah, and I think that's... I don't know how these battle points work, but I'm pretty sure you need like a dominant victory to get a big score. And that's unfortunate. Well, not even a sonic blast. And unfortunately, Eoraptor is just not going to get enough points here. But it is going to get the win. Yeah, it's not enough. 500 points won't be enough. Going into our final match of this round robin. Sorofagonax, Irritator, and T Rex have all secured their top four spots. Eoraptor agonizingly close to Lanzusaurus, but not close enough. Let's not dilly dally. Let's see how this main event plays out. It's T Rex versus Black T Rex. Alrighty then. In the red corner, we have our red apex of the Cretaceous. It's T Rex. T Rex already securing top four given. Other results went their way. The big moment was the Lanzusaurus getting beat. That was probably what did it. In the blue corner, we got the big bully, the powerhouse dinosaur. It's Black T-Rex. And the tournament favourite is in trouble. A defeat here 
could spell the end for them in this tournament. A win and a draw will do it. I mean, in fact, a defeat could do it. In theory, if they get enough battle points. But that is a bit of a long gamble. So just play it safe and win. Ooh, that's a fire cannon. Black T-Rex does get the first hit on the board. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun dun. That's a good start from our... Well, our big tyrant lizard. Ah, oops! <laughs> oops, you didn't see. Okay, that was a free. Ooh, T-Rex responds with a firebomb. It's been a back and forth start so far between these two tyrants. But Black T-Rex does have the slight lead. Oh, we've got to go back and forth here. we got a fire cannon, fire bomb, fire cannon. Very back and forth so far. In fact, that fire cannon might guarantee that Black T-Rex gets enough points from this match. Ooh, that's a tie. Doesn't want to get hit by a blazing spin. And Black T-Rex gets it done. Overwhelming its inferior counterpart. To get the win and get that top four finish. And in fact, that win puts Black T-Rex top of the group. And at the same time, it knocks Lanzusaurus into fifth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude the group stage. Well, the round robin for this tournament. And we are down to our final four. So let's have a look at them, shall we? That is how our final table looks, ladies and gentlemen. And well, despite not being top once throughout this entire round robin, Black T-Rex finishes top by virtue of the fact that they have more battle points than the Sorofagonax. Sorofagonax finishing in second place on 18 points as well. Irritator getting that third place spot. That draw proving crucial there. And T-Rex finishing fourth. And Lanzusaurus and Eoraptor just didn't get enough battle points to get in that top four. But look how tight it is there. If, even if this went to head to head, T-Rex would be fourth anyway because it beat Lanzusaurus and Eoraptor. So, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have made a difference in the end, but there we go. Our, our lineup will see will be Black T... Well, oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be another rematch. It'll be Black T-Rex taking on T-Rex. And then Irritator going up against Sorofagonax. And that will be our semi-final lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the round, Robin. And stay tuned where we will conclude this tournament. And until then, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.